All right, we're here with Mark Kasdan. It's, uh, we're at American Heritage Plantation. They are playing in the state championship game this Friday at 1 against uh, Tallahassee Gobby. Uh, so first and foremost, just to, uh, I guess the, maybe the feeling around here, getting back to another state championship. You know, it's just just like last year, you know, the same grind through the first four weeks of the playoffs, just all the hard work paying off, getting back to Orlando, looking to finish the job this Friday. You know, you said the, the grind, and I thought you were going to say the grind of the season because it's not like Coach <laughs> Rumpf made it easy on you guys this year. Yeah, no, nah, uh, he pretty much tested us starting from day one with St. Thomas and Dwyer, and then just it didn't get much easier throughout. And I really feel that that's what's given us the success throughout the playoffs, playing those talented teams across the state from Class 3A to 8A, just really exposing us to all different types of teams and different talent. How much do you think it helps you this year being uh, that you're going back for a second time? So I know you still want it. Motiva motiva motivation factors are still the same, but at least you sort of know what you're getting into. Um, I feel like it's an experience thing. Like now we're going to show up. We've been there once, had that under our belt. Got a lot of new guys, new faces coming in. It's their first time. So it'll kind of help them to be like, hey, like walk them through all this stuff. Like don't be shocked. It's just another game and we just got to finish the job. Now I talked to Deontay Fair about this, but uh, I had no idea who this Nick Eubanks kid was. <laughs> I heard the name. I heard the name. Yeah. He walked past me in the weight room. That's a freak show right there. Yeah, you know, uh, fellow tight end Nick, he's just a baller, you know. He came in, no one really knew. We knew about him a little bit from his brother Kobe coming here, but he showed up day one and just balled, you know. There's really no other way. He's just a freak, as you put it. Like, he plays receiver, tight end, just goes up over people, can run by people, and he's going to be something special, so. what? Uh, what? Uh Tell me something about Torrance Gibson that people don't. Everyone knows that he's a great athlete, but maybe something that you guys see around here every day. Uh, well, one, he's one of the funniest kids on this team. You know, he may not show that in all his interviews and press conferences when he's being serious, but when he's just with the guys, he's hilarious. So yeah, we got we got to get some dirt on some of these guys because they never give the <laughs> dirt out when we're they're being interviewed. So we need dirt on him and McFadden. Um, you know, there's not too much to say about Torrance. <laughs> Every, everyone kind of knows who he is, what he's about. Uh, T. T just like Torrance, you know, one of the most humble guys I've ever met, even from day one when he came in. We came in together as a freshman, but just his work ethic really plays off on everyone else. And Nick looks up to him a lot, and I think the whole team kind of follows those two guys down the right path. So, Let's talk about your – give me a guy in the defense maybe that's a little overlooked but it's really come through for you in the playoffs. Probably uh, our DB, Nick Pert. You know, our whole defense is loaded with prospects, as everyone's seen. But Nick Pert, a guy came in from U school – came in didn't know really who he was and he's just been balling for us and great player played with him with the uh, south florida express and i really got to see him and with no pads on and then with pads on he's just a beast you know he's not scared of anyone he'll hit you he'll make the tackle and he's made big plays for us so love love having him here you know, we can't talk to a tight end without talking about the o-line right i mean you guys line up and you guys line up and grind grind at it every day uh talk about your five guys that uh that uh, make up the the, the line that really like you couldn't do it without them couldn't yeah. throw the ball couldn't run the ball without them um starting with the left side brett con guy from U school came in just one of the smartest guys on the team, you know, crazy GPA, just work, work. <laughs> which, is, which is something if you're saying it. If you're yeah. saying he's got a crazy GPA, he's an Ivy League guy, you're looking Ivy, so that's, that's the real deal. Yeah, he's really smart, you know. He just comes in, absorbs everything, and goes to work. Uh, Noah, you guys all know about him, just a beast, you know, big grinds for us, great run blocker. Um, Louie, another guy came in from U school, another smart kid, another Ivy League kid. It's good to have the smart guys on the line. You yeah. know, there's no, no mistakes. Yeah, no, it really helps with between those three on the left side, just helping the new guy, Fed, just came in. Uh, really helps him, like, with the plays and getting to feel out the system. And then everyone knows about TJ, you know. He just, like Eubanks, just a freak, you yeah, know. He's only in 10th grade, right? Yeah. And plays basketball. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen him play ba too much basketball. I haven't got over to see him, but I, I heard he's balling out there too, but – yeah, he's a freak. All right, so the last thing, we'll go back to just sort of what this week's all about. It's about getting another trophy. How sweet would it be for this school and for you to end your career with back-to-back -back state championships? I uh, really can't put that into words. You know, the feeling would just be overwhelming. Um, to go out on the note that the seniors last year went on on is just something that you'll look back in 40 years and just be like, yeah, we left a legacy at the school. And Mr. Laurie's put so much into this program and is behind us 100%, and we'd just love to send him off right. All right, last thing uh, – don't want to give away any secrets, but <laughs> baloney in your shoes. <laughs>
I don't uh, even know what that means, but I've yeah. heard that he this guy plays with baloney in his shoes. I don't even know what that's all about. Yeah, uh, I don't. I, to be honest, I don't know what that's <laughs> about either. Uh, that's a new thing for me that I just learned about. So, I guess it is what it is. You heard it just when I heard it. Well, so. if you win two in a row, man, take hey. it on to the next level. Yeah, I guess so. All right, Mark, appreciate it. Anytime.